Hello everybody, my name is Steve and today I would like to talk about how I got into a new hobby of mine called the lock sport or lock picking. And <clears throat> when I was younger in school, my friend and I were wandering the halls at school and we saw on the ground a, a combo, combo lock that you would find to you know, lock up your locker or whatever and <clears throat> I noticed that, you know, I'm like, oh, I could actually use that because um, I need, I had a project at home that I was working on and I needed a, a padlock and stuff. And so I'm like, oh, I could use that lock, but I don't have the combination for it. My friend said, that's no problem. I'll, I'll figure it out. And so I let him use it. And a few days later, he came back with the lock and then he had a sheet. And on the sheet, there were several columns and three rows of numbers and then one of the columns he had circled and he said there's your combination right there and I'm thinking well that's kind of cool I wonder how he did that and you know I always thought to ask and he he never really told me how he did it but <clears throat> I assume that he probably just took the lock and kind of pulled the shackle and figured out the combination and stuff turned the dial until he figured out what numbers is stopped on and um, and then he wrote down all these numbers that he kind of had an idea with and then he just started trying out the combinations until he got the right one. I still have the lock and the paper but somewhere in my storage stuff I can't find it right now but that always kind of got me curious on how he actually did that and even later on you know on the a do-it-yourselfer and I like to do things to myself so I'll replace locks and you know the stuff around the house and things like that and and then you know so I always kind of was used to that type of thing and then and then uh, I would see some videos every once in a while books and stuff talking about lock picking using using bobby pins to make your own tools and how to do it and kind of things like that and kind of started getting a little curious and then <clears throat> and then about a year ago a year ago last summer I started watching some more videos and started learning and I really decided hey I really want to get into this hobby because I looked at it more at that time more of not just necessarily opening the locks but as more of a challenge as like a, a puzzle and stuff like that and I've always enjoyed puzzles you know and and doing puzzles like for example I always loved working with these Rubik's cubes and solving those, these things and and then I get different kinds that you know that kind of do the same type thing and then I even quite a number of years ago I even got this cube that actually would make my eyes go buggered if you stare at it too long <laughs> but you know it's a lot of fun I can put those together and sometimes it takes a little longer than others but <clears throat> and sometimes even solving different puzzles and things over it's, it's a lot of fun to me and so I kind of started to look at the lock picking more as like a puzzle solving a puzzle and and, and a hobby so I finally said I I want to get into this so I went on to Amazon and I bought a, a cheap set that included some clear locks and and some picks that kind of seem like a little kind of a good decent range to give me an idea on how to how to do it and so then I was able to once I got it then I was watching videos and I would watch a video on how to do the different kinds of lock picking and learning how the lock work and everything and so <clears throat> and so I really started getting into it last summer or late last summer after I received this first set and I work with this quite a bit I'd sand down these these pick profiles and and then once I really decided that's really something I wanted to do then I went ahead and and purchased another kit and got a few um, a few picks from other companies you know just different things to kind of try different things out I got I got more locks to try you know of course these clear ones were the ones I kind of learned on and then the first ones were locks like this master lock or these brink locks and 
other master locks that I could get out of the store, and even I even had a bag full of <clears throat> old locks that I had uh, taken off and replaced locks in the, at the house, front door locks and things. So I have some of these here, so I could try them out and, and figure out how you know try to work with those different things. Even got another cutaway to kind of work with, and then and then I also. So the first thing that um, was a joy to me is being able to learn how to get these open and, and figure out how to um, <clears throat> solve the puzzle on how to get them open. And then the other things that kind of tie into Locksport is the other aspects, like one thing that I'd like to do is to, I wanted to try out different profiles besides these ones that I got with this set, so I'm like, oh, I found some pictures and templates and stuff, and so then I would get some metal pieces of metal and try to make my own picks and see how those work and trying out different things, different handles and seeing how comfortable they are and, and then getting some wiper blade inserts and getting the steel out of those to make some tension wrenches, you know, whatever I can do to make things as well. And that was another aspect is making tools, making your own tools and trying those out. And the other thing was, was not only learning how to open these pin tumbler locks, but also other different kind of locks, like trying out dimple locks and, <clears throat> and disc detainer locks and lever locks, just whatever I just kind of go in the gap and trying different things out. And <clears throat> it kind of appealed to me to be able to try out different aspects and try out different things and so that's <clears throat> and so so far in this up, coming up to almost a year I've been able to get through quite a bit of different kind of locks different things I've been able to also interact with other people in the community community making trades and um, even got some of my first lever locks in a and a giveaway so I was able to get those out get those and try those <clears throat> and even though I have a couple dimple locks and a dix detainer lock I haven't really gotten into those too much yet because I kind of get sidetracked in other projects and things as well so but anyway so I just wanted to make this short video to to say hi and, and to be able to explain how I got into Locksport and and be able to enjoy and be able to share the things. I kind of look at this uh, way of making videos as far as showing things that I've learned and be able to, and hopefully somebody else might be able to get some, something from it. And if they don't, if they have, and if there are people that have suggestions, it, you know, making comments, being able to do whatever they can so that I can learn and progress and be able to, uh, present things that can help out other people well so <clears throat> some of the things I might be doing is could be uh, you know opening up these different locks to show what I found what I've done um, show how I make and do my my custom picks and how I've done those and how I've done that and <clears throat> other things so <clears throat> so if you like this video please like and subscribe and and uh, leave any comments and and uh, I'll definitely get back with you and and uh, <clears throat> hopefully we can be able to learn something from each other and and be able to expand our horizons so to say so <clears throat> that's it for me today so take care and we'll talk to you later bye